In this video, we're going to take a look at the area of parallelograms. The first thing to understand is what is a parallelogram? A parallelogram is basically a, like a rectangle where I have two sets of parallel lines. Okay. A rectangle is an example of a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallelograms. Sometimes what happens is I picture taking this and pushing it over a little bit. So what ends up happening is I've got a rectangle that's a bit skewed. Okay, it could be almost like more of a diamond shape of sorts. Okay. I still have the two sets of parallel lines. Okay. So basically what ends up happening is I take the area being the length times the width, okay, that it is for a rectangle because I've got all right angles. And we can no longer talk about length and width. We turn this into the fact that this area is going to be what's called base times height. The base is going to be the length of one of the sides. And the height is going to be something perpendicular to that. So it may be inside the parallelogram. It may also be outside the parallelogram. Okay, which but it has to meet at a right angle in order to be considered the height. So the height in this case is not going to be a side times a side. It's going to be the base times the perpendicular height. So what does this mean? If I look at an example where I might give you a parallelogram and I tell you that this is 6 and this length here might be 8. My area is given by the 6 times the 8 which would be in 48. Since I'm dealing with the area I have the units being squared. Okay. Another thing just to um, is the difference between perimeter and area. Remember perimeter is going to be the distance around. So if I give you that same parallelogram where this was 8, okay, I might tell you this is 6 and then the, or th this, the side is 7 and this might have been 6. The area was given by the 6 times the 8. Okay, The height has nothing to do with the perimeter. For this, I'm going to go here, which is going to be at a length of 8. I'm going to go up, which is going to be a length of 7. I'm going to go around here, which would be another distance of 8. Okay, Because since these are parallel, they have to have the same distance. And then here and here have to be the same. So when I go back down, I'm going 7 more steps. So I'll combine, it's going to be 30, and it's going to be units, okay, where this was units being squared. Okay, so this is what how I figure out the perimeter, is I add up the sides, the area I'm always going to be multiplying.